Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update. Today's Saturday, June 29th. Let's take a quick look at the markets and then we'll jump into my trades. Starting with SPX, fresh new all-time high. I think that's 32, or I think starting the week we had 31 new all-time highs uh, for the year. So I think this might've been number 32, but uh, ticked up to 5523.64. If you look at this red line, I marked this on my chart on January 1st as the expected move for the year. So on the upper edge, it's at about 52.33. So essentially got there within 10 points. Uh, before retreating on Friday, obviously we had the presidential debate Thursday night. We had the core PCE report pre-market on Friday. Neither of those seemed to move the market at the time, but then quite some movement on Friday. It looked like we were going to the moon early in the day and then looked like we were crashing later in the day uh, for a big, big reversal. On the lower end, the lower expected move for the year is right at about 4,000. So hit the upper one essentially exactly halfway through the year. So we'll see what the rest of the year brings. Uh, NDX also hit a new all-time high over 20,000. How about that before the big reversal? Uh, Russell, a little bit stronger on the week. Dow, a little bit lower for the week. Uh, gold sideways, silver sideways, notes and bonds lower, 10-year yield popping up to 4.385. Oil grinding higher, natty gas lower, soybeans down, corn down, Wheat, a little bit higher on the week. Euro and the pound, kind of choppy sideways. And Bitcoin, big down day on Monday and then sideways, settling in at uh, just over 60,000. VIX, 12.44, contracting for the week. All right, so my trades, uh, I was green overall for the week by about uh, a little over 5,000, I think was the total. But uh, let's start with zero DTE and my my AM trades. Uh, losers Monday, losers Friday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, winners ended up on the AM trades. Uh, small, small green. On my challenge portfolio, one DTE, a little bit red. One to one re-entries, plus 4,500. Uh, again, same thing. Monday red, Friday red, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all good. I uh, didn't do any three twos this week, I believe. Yeah, I omitted that one. And then uh, power hours for challenge. Yeah, none. And then no Ricks, no FOMC. Uh, my one DTE rut hedge. Two losers, one winner. This one hasn't settled yet. It'll be about a $400 loser, so about... Minus 1,400 total on the week there. No JSPs. As far as other power hours go. Yeah, just two trades, both of which were Wugas. Uh, two small winners. Get all these unchecked. Uh, no PM trades, couple price action trades. Yeah, one loser, one winner, small, small red. Quad 40 had a, a big loser on Friday, two small winners, so minus 2K on those. Had a couple discretionary ricks, one winner, 600, one small winner, 45. No vol crush. O2 call, call, uh, O2 call calendars, a couple tiny losers. One DTEs, uh, minus 2K, again, Monday and Friday losers, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all good. And then my two DTE, which I'm st still just been testing, I'll probably put into my trade plan for July, uh, four winners. Plus, let me update that, that's not right. Four winners plus 1,500. Uh, no closed dynamic butterflies on my calendar spreads. Took a hit 
on a few of those to uh, make the week red on calendars. Yeah, minus 3,400. So had a uh, 5, 7, 6, 7 that got hit. Had some winners on a 3, 6, 3, 5, 3, 7, 4, 5. Had a 3, 4 get hit. Some small losers on a 1, 3, 2, 4, 1, 2, and then a couple couple other small winners. But red for the week on calendars. No closed ducks. Option selling. No closed trades. Yeah, that was just a roll. No portfolio margin. And then my transformers, um, I'm going to start talking a little bit more about these as far as on my re performance reporting. Um, since I've now been kind of sharing these with the community, I've been working on some different strategies, and I just started sharing those. So here's how I ended for the week on transformers. Transformers up about 1,500, and actually that's not totally correct because some of these still need to settle. Uh, so let's see, didn't have any of those. My Transformer Iron Condor. Yeah, so here's here's part of the discrepancy. So let's see, 74, 90, minus 110, minus. Uh, so this one, the, the options haven't settled yet. That'll be a plus 1,848 winner. This one hasn't settled yet either. That'll be a plus 2,550. Uh, so we can add a couple thousand to that. On my Magic Mahomes, a couple $2,000 winners, one minus 10 bucks, one minus 260. So nice, nice green on Mr. Mahomes for the week. Didn't take one on Friday. Uh, something I call the Pin Seeker. This is something that I have not talked about yet a couple small losers um some unbalanced condors just a few little winners there and then vertical to flies ended up a little bit red on those because some that i had to just bail out of and then one that I call the tripod, which I haven't talked about yet. A uh, tiny red on that. So that's it for me, my friends. Everybody have a good rest of your weekend. Don't forget, next week, shortened week, Wednesday, half day, Thursday, close for 4th of July. Friday is going to be super light. So really Monday and Tuesday will be the action, if any, days for next week. Take care. Have a good one. Talk to you soon.